Persephone. We're finally here. Find Eleanor, son, and fast. Her mama's got all rapture dying to keep you two apart. Welcome to Persephone, everyone. I'm Cinder A9. And here we are with more Bioshock 2 Detention Facility. This marks really the beginning of the end. We're really close to the end now. There are just two more stages. This one and one more. Which, spoilers, is just more into Persephone. I believe it, this is... Uh, if I save, I can tell you. Yeah, see it says Persephone Outer. Well, you didn't see it. It said it real quick. <laughs> I got to save there because I needed to. Um, this is Outer Persephone. And then there's an Inner Persephone, and then that'll be that'll be the last stage. Eve hypo, which we're full on. Now make sure you're ready because I think this is. Father, come quickly! I I'm trapped in a cage. Something's wrong. That's not good. Of course we're coming, Eleanor. I wonder, Delta. Do you know why you are here? Have you any idea what my daughter has given you? Free will? As I watch you now, I envy your ignorance. You ignorant. still believe. You believe. There's a power to the people machine here. It's kind of white out in the open. Just in case you know you've been missing some... <laughs> this is the only power to the people machine in this part of Persephone. Like I said, there's a, you know, second part that's its own its own stage. Um, and there's two there, and that will be the last three. So we have three left to go. What to choose? Um, of course we're taking the launcher cluster bomb upgrade because it's too much fun. <laughs> oh, don't worry, you'll get a demonstration really soon let's hack this hopefully oh the blue is back there darn it now we have to go through all those additional stages and get nothing for free basic ammo here for all your weapons including frag grenades and ammo vending machine A free heat-seeking rocket. Nice. Don't worry. I'll be showing those off, too, here fairly shortly. Rocket spears. Anything and everything you could want here, stock up. Buy whatever you feel like you need. Do I have heavy rivets on? I do. Armor-piercing rounds. Good. Phosphorus buckshot. Uh, not trap spear. I would go with regular spears and frag grenades. Okay. There's some stuff in here for you to grab. There's an Eve hypo. A few cabinets you can search. There was a bot that I hope you saw. Right there. Speaking of bots. I don't think any of this counts enough in water for me to give to get Eve back, which is a shame. <laughs> that does. Good news. So we're not going to hack that one because we'll just bring our own. But if you can't make your own, make sure that you hack that bot in front of you. In front of us. Right there. To help yourself out. And we're going to wait here. And we're going to get all of our Eve back. And I want Incinerate. So, how are all of you doing? <laughs> this has all been one just really long recording session for me. So that's a lot of fun. I'm trying to beat this today. You won't see it today, of course. Well, 
today for you isn't the same as today for me because this will be coming out days, many, well not many, but this is several, several days later. It's, you know, because I'm recording now, but now's not when it comes, anyway. <laughs> make sure you're ready, hack the bot. It's just disabled, you can hack it if you can't make your own. Take that with you. You know, it sure seems like they're giving us a lot of stuff. It's almost like they're gearing us up for something. They're gearing you up for this. Welcome to the atrium. What happens here? That's her son, Eleanor Lamb. No matter what you might be feeling right she now, is. this is business. Get that cage open. She's coming with us. Activate the quarantine chamber. Oh, I'm just going to make sure... I just have the Brute Splicer and Security left, right? Right. Okay. Forever in her. How will she remember us after this moment? I have placed my pieces on the board, as expected, as have you. Is this what she hoped for? Mother and father, locking eyes. Yet still we are blind. Goodbye, Subject Delta. And take heart, for you at least have escaped your legacy. Why the music? Welcome! Hey, it's a big sister! Defeat the big sisters. That's right. It's plural. There are two big sisters you're gonna be fighting here. Have grenade. There are shops around if you find this. If this is really difficult, there are also a few healing stations if they're not, you know, completely dead already. Go away. Where's the other one? Ow. Have a grenade. No, no, yes! That one! Have a heat seeking rocket! Ah! Fancy moves! You're dead! Just bring out the big guns! No mercy! Hurry now! Quarantine chamber's waiting on you! Get in there! And that is pretty much the last little bit of Adam you're gonna get, if I remember right. I don't think there's any more big sisters. I'll pay the 15. Um, there are first aid kits. There are shops around. Use everything you can. What are you waiting? Shut up, Sinclair. Busy. Oh, kid. We gotta reload. Namely, frag grenades. All right. Much better. Get uh, everything. Make sure you loot the big sisters. Not only for the money that you spend, but for the atom. Make sure you grab the atom. There's an LMO Bandito over here. There's a gene bank if you need to swap some stuff out for a double big sister fight. It is tough. Make no doubt about it. If you know that they're going to show up, I did, but I didn't want to spoil it. I mean, the game gives you a ton of hints. Purchase some heat-seeking rockets. Uh, you can throw down some mini turrets to help you. Just go all out. Take no chances, because they can quickly overwhelm you if they, if they really attack together. Sinclair has been blocked. Look at her, Delta. Ten years, and still she dreams of you. Fifty seconds remaining. Do you know why Eleanor brought you here? She wanted a father. So she found a way to restore you in body and mind. And 
she has been watching you ever since, exalting your every act as gospel. The girl lying on that bed is no longer my child, nor my life's work. She is a monster, shaped by you alone, just as she has always wanted. Twenty seconds remaining. But there is one detail of your mutual bond she failed to account for. Your body was designed to lapse into a coma when her heart ceases to beat. Eleanor, forgive me. Naturally, but if he dies of trauma, he will return elsewhere. Full restraints at all times. No one enters this room until he expires. Father, it's me, Eleanor. I'm so sorry. Mother stopped my heart long enough to sever our bond. Staying near me won't stop you from dying now, or worse. But I can still help you escape. This little sister's brought you something that will allow you to take control of her. You have taken control of a little sister. You can now use Vince and gather Adam from bodies. That's right. <laughs> we are now going to control a little sister. This is a very, very interesting part of the game. And we can use Vince. Vince. I know this feels a bit strange, Father. A little bit. But now you can see through her eyes and tell her where to go. This is how I brought you back without Mother catching on. Now... First, let's get you out of here. Escape the holding room. Well, there's no way we can open the door or anything. Crawl through the vent there. So we have to, you know, think like a little sister. Uh. Uh. Yay. Good. Now, inside Mother's office, there's a way to unlock these chambers she's holding us in. Find a way to slip in there. Infiltrate Lamb's office. Hidey hole. Remember, that's what those are. Those are hidey holes. <laughs> and we're going to use this one. in here somewhere. Pull it, and it will unlock our cells. Use the security release lever. Sounds like a plan. Attention! Augustus Sinclair has been sighted within the facility. He will attempt to reach Subject Delta. All family duties are hereby suspended until he is found. Look who it is. It's Lamb. Open! What 
what Mother did to me left me very weak, or I would do this part myself. To save your life, I'm going to have to change, to be like you. From here, you should be able to locate the pieces of a big sister suit. Please, bring them to me. It's sad, but that's what's going to have to happen. Find the three big sister suit parts. Eleanor is changing as Delta draws closer. In her sleep, she mutters about having witnessed moments from his journey here. She is beginning to resist the moral conditioning. Eleanor's bond with Delta is turning her from the daughter of the people back into a rebellious child whose voice I do not recognize. Worse, I suspect Eleanor of direct involvement in his return. I fear that to separate them, I may have to to take measures for which I will be unable to forgive myself. Mother says that my condition is a blessing in disguise. She constantly reminds me that I was born for the express purpose of promoting her ideals. And now, she's trying to convince me to begin splicing with the same cocktail that drove Dr. Alexander mad. She thinks that my condition makes me immune to the damage. The surface is my only chance at freedom. But Mother took the one person I knew from above and murdered him in front of my eyes. Father, if I could only find a way to bring him back. So you saw there, I, I really like that if you gather. This is what the little sister sees. This is what all the little sisters see, is this. But when we gathered, we saw just a brief little bit of what actually is. You know, what we've been seeing this entire time throughout Bioshock 2. But this is what the little sister sees. It's an angel. See it how, how it has the circle, the halo there, and the wings. And they're like rose petals, not blood and butterflies and it's all nice but that's not how it actually is we know that but it's just interesting to finally get that perspective I really like that they did that here let's keep going all right you little brat get over here yeah you see she sees just a you know person and uh, you know, a dressed dapper in a you know nice room, but that's really what it was. So you get that back and you get that back and forth. It's a really angel. Daddy meets Aunt Grace. Daddy is the best. And I really hope you like this perspective. Let me know in the comments what you think of getting this perspective and going back and forth. I think it's really cool. the suit in here, Father. Find the rest and bring them back to me. See, it's big sister armor, but you saw what it was. It looked, and here's the rest of the room. And what it actually is. But you saw that it looked like a beautiful dress. There's the big sister armor. See, and it's just, just a fireplace. <laughs> Ten years, father, stuck in this, this fever dream. Mother kept me sedated in order to perfect my mind with Adam. To her, the ideal child is a genius, serving the common good without questioning it. You have saved me from that. Every day is Daddy Day. If only we had a <laughs> a big daddy to protect us. <laughs> See, there's nothing there. It's just pipes. And here's the big sister helmet. I missed that. Maybe I can... Yeah. I want to see what it looks like. I've 
been quarantined, but Mother's unaware of the extent of my connections to the new little sisters. I don't just empathize with them. I can control them directly. They are my hands and my eyes now. Better yet, we have found Father's body and took a gene sample. The girls are hiding the samples inside those dolls we used to make. It's only a matter of time before I work out a way to rig one of those Vita chambers to seek his genetic signature. And then, I can't wait to see Mother's face. Eleanor is super smart. Big Sister Helmet! Which I couldn't quite make out exactly what it was supposed to look like. But it, it was nice, you know? Daddy meets Uncle Stanley! I don't remember if these statues change. Depending on how you've been acting, I don't remember. That'd be really cool if they did, but I can't, I don't remember. The other sisters are made from me, in part. As they grow up in rapture, I feel it all. When you were with the little ones, they trusted you as their father, because of me. And that is, that is why. I like these little submarine boats. <laughs> Always safe with daddy. That's true. <laughs> Especially when we're in control. Always stay close to a friend. See, a friend. And of course the hidey hole. And you can see gloves there, but you see the beautiful rose on it. And they're nice, pristine white. Of course, that's not what they actually look like, but... It's the actual weapons. <laughs> With the, the spear and everything. <laughs> that's, that's really what they are. You know, the thing that she attacked us with a lot. The various big sisters. But to the little one's eyes... It's, you know, pristine white gloves and a, and a, and, and a, a flower. Bring the big sister suit to Eleanor. Mother was right about one thing. I have been watching you, Father. Studying the way you have treated others. And now I know who I am. We have a direct influence on on Eleanor. Your decisions, whether you spared or killed the little sisters, the other people we've met on the journey, she watched all of it. And how a how their parents you know, instill values into their children, you do the same thing here. I am free. After everything Mother has done to me, I am alive and sane enough to be curious about the sun. When you rescued my new sisters, I felt every one, and it gave me hope for the first time in years. Let's go this way. Hi. See, she sees. Is it when you rescued my sisters? Yeah, because they are. And you, know, she's like the the oldest one of them all. Get big sister suit because that's what big sister wants us to do. Now I will do the same for all the others, starting with this one. Hi. We've done it, Father. I'll be there soon. 
and your values will reflect into her. Bye! Because <laughs> she now has the full power of a big sister. If you chose to... These suits always did make me think of you, father. Hi. I guess I still remember you in shining armor. Of course. But now it's my turn to fight for you. Such a good girl. Alright, we're back. Reunion. Take this plasmid. You can use it to call me to your side in a fight. Wondering what that other pa plasmid slot I had? It's bring your daughter to work day! Summon Eleanor in her big sister form to help even the odds in overwhelming battles. This plasmid is expensive! <laughs> It is not cheap to use on your Eve. You know, it's not. It takes a lot of Eve to use. But summon Eleanor for a little help. A little. <laughs> Such a good girl. Summon the big sister to fight by your side. Warning: nothing lasts forever. Time's up. It only lasts a, s a small period of time. But with it, Eleanor will come and help us. Very useful to use if things start to get really hairy. Because guess what? The enemies are going to start really coming after you. But that whole... The whole thing with the little sister and Eleanor, I love. If you've been harvesting the little sisters, guess what? She takes after you. And that little one won't be rescued. She'll be harvested. I, I, I loved that. It really made your consequences feel even more... You really felt... You, you felt the consequences even more. You know, more than just the ending you get. You get that this part right here. And it, it really makes you think. By the way, we have Summon Eleanor ready. So you can see just how much it takes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is there a brute splicer around? Present! Two Eve Hypos, four first aid kits, and $40. Just in case you were, you know, a little... Uh, running... Whoa! Yeah, it was a brute splicer. See, it was a brute splicer. Um, sorry about that there. Don't know why the game just decided to really hiccup. Not quite hundred percent sure there why. But when you're ready, move on and we'll try out the whole summon Eleanor thing next time. I'm going to uh, cut this episode here and uh, kind of restart the game and make sure that it doesn't hiccup again. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. Until the next episode, I'm Sindra9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.